Hello guys, welcome to my Veterinary Studies YouTube channel. I am Mohamed Azhar Mehman and today is our topic is Animal Sciences vs Veterinary Sciences. Most of our veterinary students have a confusion. Even some students don't know the difference between Animal Sciences and Veterinary Sciences. And which subjects are included in Animal Sciences and which subjects are included in Veterinary Sciences. So this is all we are going to discuss in this video. First of all, Animal Sciences. It is a science which deals with the management and production of animals. Whereas, Veterinary Sciences deal with the health aspects of animals. So it means the subjects which are concerned with the management and production are included in Animal Sciences. Whereas, the subjects which are concerned with the health are included in veterinary sciences. Animal sciences is subdivided into four branches. Number one, animal husbandry. Number two, livestock product technology. Number three, animal nutrition. And number four, animal breeding genetics. Animal husbandry. It is a science which deals with the breeding, farming, management and care of animals. Most of the students think that animal husbandry only concerned with the livestock, but it's not true. Animal husbandry is concerned with the general livestock, such as cattle, buffalo, sheep, goat, camel, horse, mule, donkey, poultry birds, fisheries, zoo and wildlife animals, and live animals. And second one is livestock product technology. It is a science which purely focuses on the livestock product and their byproducts, such as milk and milk byproduct, meat sciences, abattoir practices, and wool sciences. The third one is animal nutrition. It is a science which deal with the dietary requirement of different animals, such as livestock, poultry, fisheries, lab, and zoo animals. So it means in this we study about the different types of feeds which is required by animals and what are their dietary requirements and how can we supply the dietary requirements or nutrients to the animals. The fourth one is animal breeding genetics. In this we study about the principle of animal breeding genetics, animal population genetics, biostatistics and computer application or biotechnology. For suppose if we want to propose our future generation or if we want to include a particular character in our future, future generation, then we have to study about the principle of breedings. So this is all we are going to discuss in animal breeding genetics. Now veterinary sciences. Veterinary sciences is subdivided into three branches. Number one. Preclinical or basic veterinary medicine, number two, preventive veterinary medicine, and number three, clinical veterinary medicine. First of all, preclinical or basic veterinary medicine. Its name denotes us that in this we study about the basis, basic subjects in veterinary sciences or the subjects which, which need to understand before the clinical studies and the subjects which are included in preclinical or basic veterinary medicine are veterinary anatomy veterinary histology and veterinary physiology now veterinary anatomy it is a science in which we study about the gross structure of animal body such as the structure which we can see by our naked eye like bones muscles and different systems of animal body the second one is veterinary histology or micro anatomy it is a science in which we study about the microscopic structures of animal tissue. For suppose, if we want to study about the gross structure of a bone, then it is said to be anatomy. Or, and if we want to study about the microscopic structure of a bone, then it is said to be histology. The third one is veterinary physiology. It is a science which in which we study about the biological function of different systems of animal body so there are 
so many systems in an animal body so how they perform their functions this is all we will study in veterinary physiology now the second one is preventive veterinary medicine in this we study those subjects which are concerned with the health of animals such as study about the different types of causative agents which cause different type of a disease in animals and how they can produce disease in animals and how can we treat them and the subjects which are included in preventive veterinary medicines are veterinary microbiology veterinary parasitology veterinary pharmacology and veterinary pathology now veterinary microbiology it is a science in which we study about the microscopic organisms which cause different diseases in animals microscopic organisms include bacteria virus archaea fungi etc the second one is veterinary parasitology it is a study about the parasite which cause different diseases in animals the third one is veterinary pathology it is a science in which we study about the cause origin and the nature of the disease in veterinary pathology we study what type of a changes take place in animal body during disease and how the disease happen in animal body fourth one is veterinary pharmacology it is a science in which we study about the drugs which are used in animals in all the aspects like what type of a drug which are used in different types of a disease in animals and how the drug produce their actions now the third one is clinical veterinary medicine in this we study those subjects which are related to the clinical studies and the subjects which are included in clinical veterinary medicine are theriogenology veterinary medicine and veterinary surgery now theriogenology it is a science which is concerned with the reproduction including physiology and pathology of a male and female reproductive system and clinical practices which are used in theriogenology clinics now the second one is veterinary medicine it is a science which deal with the diagnosis treatment control and prevention of different diseases and injuries of an animals so in veterinary medicine we study different kind of diseases which are found in different types of animals now the third one is veterinary surgery it is a science which deal with the treating of injuries deformities and disease by any surgical procedure for example if an animal is suffering from any deformity or any disease and the surgical procedure is required so this is all we will study in veterinary surgery at last i just want to say if you want to further study the branches and the types of each subjects then you have to watch our next video if you like my video then press like button If you want an update of my YouTube channel then press bell icon and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel thank you